Okay, let's say we are an automobile manufacturer and the government has decided to implement uh, a new policy that says that our cars have to have this new feature, but implementing this feature will increase our production cost by $2,000 per car. Uh, does that mean that the producers have to pay this money? Or can they pass this cost towards the consumer? So under what conditions can this happen? Well, in other words, we are asking, when can firms pass all of a tax to a buyer? Okay. Because this policy is sort of like a tax, right? You need to pay this money, this implementation to your car. The answer is that as long as the consumer's demand curve is very inelastic, then you can just increase the price of your vehicle by the $2,000 without losing too many customers. Although it comes down to the more inelastic you are, the bigger the tax burden. So let's say graphically, now let me show you to you graphically here. This is the market for cars. We know that if you have a very inelastic demand curve, that is a terrible demand curve. Let me try that again. Let's say this demand curve. Well, a change in price, for example, say that this point here is 20,000, which is the price of our car, right? If we increase it to 2,000, buy 2,000, so that the price of the car is 2,000, we're not really losing that many customers, right? We'll lose a few, but not so why, if the demand is elastic, we, we would be able to pass all of this cost of putting this new feature in the car to the consumer. In the other hand, if our demand curve was very elastic, let's draw that over here. Let's say we had a very elastic demand curve. Then these same points, price from here to here, mean a very large decrease in quantity, right? In that case, it would be hard for us to just charge consumers an extra 2000 because many of them would just not buy the car.